BFM 89.9, the business station. Hi, good day. This is Prada. BFM 89.9, this is here and now in Malaysia. And we are glad to have you on board. You have just heard the sounds of a busy kitchen. Today's topic on here and now in Malaysia is the plight of the poor, the soup kitchen. The topic carries value on social issues that have never been brought up before. But that doesn't mean it does not exist. An interesting look at a group of people trying to make a difference in saving mankind. We will be taking you behind the scenes on location to the soup kitchen in Sentul on an early Saturday morning. Lina and I are greeted by Uncle Susai. He has been involved in the soup kitchen on a weekly basis every Saturday morning. The food is prepared in the church itself by a group of volunteers. The food is then distributed to three different points in Sentul. These are Bandar Baru Sentul, Sentul Pasar, and the villages in Sentul. Sadly, Sentul is one of the towns with the highest percentage of poverty in Malaysia. Sentul is one of the towns with the highest percentage of poverty in Malaysia. So, today with us, we have the founder and the creator of Fun Charity and Suresh Reality Project. We sat down and asked him questions that needs to be addressed. Hi, my name is uh, Suresh K. Um, I'm actually a social blogger. Firstly, we ask him to give us a brief introduction of Fun Charity and his reality project. To encourage uh, more youngsters, I started a group called Fun Charity. And um, I sat down with, uh, with uh, one, one of my mentors, which is Tansi Raymond Navaranam. And uh, we were figuring out how to attract uh, more youngsters uh, to be a part of social. So we identified why youngsters are not coming forward. So that's where Fun Charity uh, was created. In our country, we are facing a social economic problem, actually. In other words, social economic is um, a, a situation where many Malaysians in the hardcore poor have basic food and, and, and uh, food, water and accommodation, but their lack of uh, education, uh, lack of certain skills to stand on their own. So until these skills are uh, kept to them or exposed to them. Um. Next, we asked him to state his level of involvement with the soup kitchen activities. Questions that were arise were about how did he find out this place in Sentul and what were the other organizations that were also helping him out. The Soup Kitchen is an interesting program where we actually cook for 80 to 100 over, uh, people in Sentul area. And uh, it's a mix of every race, every religion, anybody comes, any youngster just comes up, cooks and, and we give food to those who are in need. So this, this activity uh, makes youngsters and youths and young professionals more relaxed uh, and, and don't feel pressured in helping. And eventually, charity becomes fun. So when it becomes fun, um, more people come forward, more people try to be curious on what exactly is going on. And uh, this is where uh, fun charity comes. Every two months, we select a home and we raise up funds. We create awareness, we take photos, we take some videos, and we tell people that this home needs help. Please come to on this date. We, we raise up food uh, under the food bank program. And together, we're also supporting uh, Pusat Bantuan Sentul um, to raise up funds and awareness and also um, and along the way, we have done school year-end programs uh, to 
raise up funds for uniform for children, school materials, pencils, uh, school bags and stuff like that for the kids because these are all expensive stuff for homes and also food bank programs and uh, charity computer. Uh, this is the latest one that I'm looking into to raise up computers, uh, sponsors, uh, volunteers to teach uh, IT for the, for the kids. Um, only because I'm looking at a sustainable uh, uh, project. It's good that people are coming and, and supporting homes and, and donating our one-off during festival time. It's very, very good and I encourage that. But we are looking at throughout the year, what is the sustainable uh, uh, projects that are going to help people in the home to stand on their own. So if we implement projects that teach them skills, like computer skills, communication skills, basic business skills, uh, and, and this will enhance their motivation to go forward to create a job for themselves and, and stand on their feet. There are challenges on raising up funds for, for, for food and stuff like that, but um, we, we continue to strive. We do look for uh, sponsors, government support. Uh, we, we try to tap every single way we can, and that I don't say that's a challenge, um, but uh, it will be good if we have a bigger funding or, or direct funding from the governments uh, to support all these homes. That will be very good um, because we are going, we are promoting social from a view of a normal uh, group of people uh, who who don't hold or don't. Uh, we are not promoting any particular race or religion or anything. We are just we are just trying to tell you that poverty is blind. Uh, and it's for the nation. There are poor of every race in this nation. So what we youngsters are trying to do is help those who are in need, putting all our differences aside. So it is a challenge and I hope that eventually in next years to come, um, more youngsters will come forward and, and do up their own projects and, and choose their own homes and, and, and Helping and creating awareness is not easy. You will tend to give up one day, but um, you just have to keep on going. And looking at the smiles of people who are getting food, smiles of people getting new uniforms, uh, smiles of people going to a zoo because of the sponsors, that is your gift. That is priceless. I was also curious to find out what was the level of awareness towards the betterment of this Malaysian society whom are in need with the young generation? Um, I use, uh, one is my, my, my own network, my, my close friends, and uh, then to in, in order to reach out to more people, I started blogging and uh, started giving write-ups to, to certain uh, high-profile people and uh, discuss with NGOs like uh, Pusat Bantuan Sentol, uh, Epic, uh, Malaysia Care, uh, Habitat Malaysia and, and we, we share ideas and we compile uh, everybody's challenges and I use the social media tool that's why I call myself a social entrepreneur we use all the social media tools we do not invest into marketing or branding we tap on everything that is uh, out there tools that are out there for free Facebook, Twitter uh, and, and uh, YouTube these are all the modes that, that needs creativity and uh, that's the mode I'm using because if I have funds to do branding to create raise up funds I might as well use the funding to give to a home so that is the logic so throughout uh, the awareness I've been creating for the past four years uh, it's all through the internet and all through the word of mouth and uh, anybody who wants to donate any money they do not we do not collect any money fund charity members do not collect any money we encourage you to straight give it a check to the home or bank in to the NGO, selected NGO's account. So these are the principles that all fund charity people are, are do, we do not do collect money. So awareness is through internet and uh, basically on writings, on how to make people feel what's going on, how make to make people slowly open up their eyes and uh, tell themselves, I must do something. For example, when you do the school year end program, a mom or a parents will take their children to shop for uniform, and when they know that the home needs uniform for a kid, they will choose a kid, and they will buy another set for the child, and they will personally go to the home and they give it to the child. So this way, you're giving something more than the uniform. You're giving something more than the food. 
you're giving love. So really, project is about telling people to spread the love, to to stop, um, to to be a human. We are human before anything else, and we have forgotten, we have forgotten to spread the love. So for for my principle, it's very simple. We are here in this world as a uh, human, so humanity, to take care of Mother Earth and to take care of animals. I. I sometimes I feel that humans have forgotten it, but that's why many social entrepreneurs are out there to remind the world who we are, what we should do. Hold to your beliefs, love your particular God. Go ahead, but don't forget to give. Every religion tells you to give. Every religion teaches you to be together and help one another. Are we doing it? I also asked him, what were the steps or measures? that could be put into place to improve this sad situation. Society will have a hardcore poor group of people. So we are trying to eliminate, we're trying to we're trying to kill poverty. Basically that's what that's what Swish Reality Project is all about. It's about um, converting projects into reality. And for the past four years I've seen uh, tremendous support I'm happy that the youngsters are coming forward, they're curious, they are bringing their, their DSLRs, taking great photos through, you know, to, to spread to people, videos. And um, it's just that we are creating a lot of social entrepreneurs in Malaysia itself, and there's more to come. I wanted to know what was his reasons to actually